Hey guys, Abby Johnson here. So I came across this article and it was talking about how women in the United Methodist Church, this uh, United Methodist Women's Group, they were praying that more legislation would be passed that would allow women to abort their babies and that the legislation that had already been passed that prevented women from killing their babies by abortion, um, that that would essentially be struck down. And these two ministers from, these female ministers from Birmingham, Alabama had done some TikTok videos and they were talking about how terrible the Texas heartbeat bill was. And, and, uh, and what was interesting to me was that people were so surprised that these Christians were so surprised that uh, Methodists in particular were so surprised that these Methodist ministers were out here saying these things. And these two women were a part of the United Methodist Women's Group, which is an official group. And so that led me to believe that I needed to actually do a video addressing an organization called the Religious Coalition for Reproductive Choice. Now, this is an organization you may not know about. This is an organization I'm very familiar with because this is uh, a group that we dealt with pretty often when I worked at Planned Parenthood. They've been around for a long time. This is an organization that sometimes you may go out to an abortion clinic, you may pray outside of an abortion facility, and you may see uh, 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 someone outside escorting a woman from her car to the, the front door of the abortion facility. And they may be uh, a, a person who's wearing a collar. And so you think, oh my gosh, what's going on? Is this a minister uh, working as a volunteer escort at an abortion facility? And yes, that's that's who these people are. And so they often go to abortion facilities and, and wear the collar and, and try to show people abortion is normal, abortion is normal, even in the religious community. But one of the things that you need to know is, is sort of who partners with the RCRC, the Religious Coalition for Reproductive Choice. You need to understand that there are mainline, mainstream, mainstream denominations that are partnering with the RCRC. They're giving funds to this organization, this coalition. So when you tithe as, you know, this good Christian person, you're going to church every Sunday, you're, you know, putting the, the, those dollars in the plate as it's passing by you. What you need to understand is that if you are part of one of the coalitions that is a, a member or a part of the RCRC, then your tithe money could be going into the hands of the RCRC. And what do they do? Well, part of what they do, and you can go to their website and look at this, part of what they do is they help women fund abortions. And they will do that in part through your tithe. And so you can go to the website, you can go to their 990, you can go and, and look at their reports, you can Google them, you can see who all is a part of their organizations. You can see, you know, some of them are not going to be surprising. The Episcopal Church, of course, is a huge hand in the RCRC. The Episcopal Church, uh, certainly no one is surprised by that. Their national doctrine uh, supports abortion. Uh, their former, the, the head bishop of the Episcopal Church was the former head of, of, uh, of NARAL. So certainly that's not surprising, uh, to anyone. The Episcopal Church is, is very largely involved with the RCRC. The Presbyterian Church, uh, USA, very involved. Uh, United Synagogue of Conservative Judaism, United Church of Christ, of course, the Unitarians. Uh, I mean, they're not even really a church, but Unitarians, uh, ELCA Lutheran Churches, National Council of Jewish Women, American Jewish Congress, American Jewish uh, Committee, uh, Hadassah, Church of the Bre Brethren, uh, Rabbinical Assembly. Uh, some of these you may have not heard of. Of course, uh, many, many Jewish groups are involved with the RCRC. Uh, the United Methodist Church was actually had a hand in the foundation of the RCRC, which is something that I think may surprise a lot of people. But the United Methodist Church is a pro-choice church. 
always have been. Uh, they, their doctrine supports abortion. People need to understand that. They need to understand that uh, they do have a group that is called United Methodist Women. The United Methodist Women, uh, they are a part of the United Methodist congregation. And the United Methodist Women, they are a pro-choice activist women's group that uh, works hand in hand with the RCRC. They are funding the RCRC. They are uh, helping women obtain abortions. They are advocates for abortion. And so, you know, these mainline denominations, if you are a believer, if you are sitting in the pews of these churches, you need to understand not only what your tithe money is going to, but what you are representing as a member of that body of that particular denomination when you are when you are sitting there uh, in those particular churches. And so I just wanted to uh, to make that well known to people because I'm not really sure uh, that a lot of people understand who all is affiliated with, you know, these organizations like the RCRC, like Clergy for Choice, which is another organization that people need to be aware of. It's one thing to have sort of a rogue member here and there. It's another thing to have an entire denomination supporting and uh, giving your money to uh, to these to these organizations that are really abominable. Uh, they, they really go against the heart of the gospel. They go against the heart of Jesus Christ. And it's something that uh, I just felt like all of you needed to, to be aware of.